Hey, hey. Backtrack. What in it? <laughs> Most sex that a guy will get if he's not in a relationship is from one night stands. No, but hey. what? Wh- wh- no. Those are so Because- views, by the way, not of that of the podcast. <laughs> What were you guys talking about before we recorded now? What? Whose relationship is off limits? Oh. 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 <laughs> no, she was, I was I was busy setting up. Yeah, can't you, can't you, I hear listening. She was no, asking, can, yeah. what type of dude am I? I was like, the one who doesn't really, you know, display my relationship or my family. That's why I've hardly posted pics of my kid. Oh, yeah, And yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, that's all we're talking about. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. And then Mesh said something. What did Mesh say? No, Mesh was saying that he's also the same. Yeah. Yeah. He's got similar he's, traits. He's posting also. every day. He posts every... But he not his relationship. He's, he's, flossing. He's, he's flossing about his own life, not his relationship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he doesn't post his relationship. No, 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 no. Mm. Just his bank Yeah, he's got two bank cards. <laughs> his account balance. <laughs> you know, that's all. Two bank cards, man. No, two two black hey, cards. It's the drip money, eh? He's hey. dripping. You let the cow see horn and money. Huh? How much? Two black, two black cards. Two black Because the money can't can be held. It's too much. It can't be held by one card. It needs two. <laughs> hey. Mesh. To be mesh. But that's unfair, so because we speak about relationships all the time. I mean, we had fucking Naga trending for fuck's sake. You know? That's not unfair. Yes. It is. It is. Well, what are we going to say about my relationship? Because I hardly tell you guys anything. Yeah. Are you like, in a relationship? Like, are you in things that you <laughs> It's like are you guys in things that <laughs> yeah in there's things you don't talk about? No. Huh? We speak about everything. We'll talk about everything. 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 Yeah. 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 It's a safe space. Same space. Is it? Oh beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I love I love free spaces. Somebody Twitter candles, Twitter candles, free I love free spaces. You know, with synergies and harmonies. <laughs> Of energies. Nah. Anyway, yeah. no, but many ladies and gentlemen, we oh. are back. Road to 150,000 chillers. We are almost there. Almost yeah. there. Man. Yeah. 150K. Yes. Jeez, what almost a thought, my man. Way. You know, before I started working with you, we, we had a party um, for a thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hosted a party at Bond Night, remember? Yeah. In recharge, I mean. Yeah. Milestone. It's still a milestone, though. You know, when And I joined at the party for 10,000. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. So you've been around since 10,000. I've been around since 10,000. You've been on this journey. Yo. It's still a milestone, man. Even yeah. if you had celebrated 200 or 100, it was still a milestone. Because yes. one day you will look back and say, we're the celebration for 150K. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's still a milestone. Yes. Man. Yeah, man. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How, how was your week? I had a fucking crazy week, man. Uh, it was a crazy week, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Week was a bit hectic. How was yours crazy? What happened? I went to... Uh, I guess I'm looking for a car, right? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I went to an auction. First time ever. Hmm. Uh, and uh, first thing I was like, okay, I'm at the right place because I just saw a whole lot of white people. Okay. So I'm like, oh, so this is where they get the cars. Because yes. mm. I think what happens is they wait for us uh, so we can't afford them and then they buy them at the auction. Mm. Mm. So we black people buy the new cars and yeah. then when we can't afford They come, they buy at a cheaper rate at the auction and then they sell it to like... Or when they get repossessed. Yeah, when they get repossessed. Yes. And then they sell it at like all these um, dealerships. Is it like significantly cheaper? Yeah, man. Let's say like a 300k car mm-hmm. you'd get for how much for now how at the much auction? Though? Yeah. Depends on who auctions. You could get for 200 on a good yeah, day. Yeah, it depends who's not mm. challenging you, right? Exactly. Who doesn't want that car? Yeah, but I was like, why are there so many white people? Then I'm like, oh, yes, okay, cool. Mm. And That's you'd find maybe most are even... Buying to resell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a business. Like dealership owners, I know. Yeah, like, yeah. I know a Cameroonian guy who, who does that. Like literally, that's uh, and it does make some good cash. Yeah, just to buy and resell, resell, buy auction, resell. Sometimes buy fix, then resell. Because there's two types of auctions. There's the repossessed auctions, and then there are the cars that are essentially written off, right? But they're still fixable and drivable if you mm. go to a place like SMD. Yes, That's why I yes. bought my first car, a Ford Focus. Hold on. Uh, no, can you see his face? I feel like his mic is blocking his face. Is it fine? 
Okay, cool. Ah, awesome. You gotta see that pretty face of yours. You know? <laughs> them chubby, chubby, chubby cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you put your first car. Yeah, so there's two types of auctions. And I think it's a good option, man. Yeah. yeah. So did you see something? Yeah, or did it was someone such a... outbid you? Yeah, I got outbid, but it was such a, like an adrenaline rush because okay. we bid online. So the oh, person would be so. like, at 110, I'll be like, okay, 115. And then they go, 118. It was pretty cool. I felt like I was gambling, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it works, but yeah. About this. <laughs> Wait, so when you say you saw all these white people, it's in boxes on this, those Zoom thingies. No, no, no. So on Wednesday, you go for the viewing. Oh yeah. So when I walked in, I saw all these white people with like whiteboards oh, writing things. That's where you stuff. saw the white yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. And then on Thursday, online. You, you bid online. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, which car were which, you trying yeah, to get? Yeah, which car were you eyeing? Ah, it was a small nyana thing, you know. With but, cup holders, man. Yeah, cup with holders. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the craziest thing is while I was there, I met this white guy. Uh, he's Jewish. Mm. So we started chatting and we we're just catching up and stuff. So this guy's like filthy rich. He like lives in like, you know, uh, Melrose Arch, Santin, Sandhurst, mm. like old Jeez. money. Yeah, Sandhurst Ooh. is old You know what I mean? Yeah. And the craziest thing, he told me that once, because uh, he was in the auction business mm -hmm. and then he started getting into property mm -hmm. and then his business started tanking and he went to Venda to go see a Sangoma. Yeah. I was like, what? You're kidding. He's like, yeah. Because he was asking me where I'm from. I'm like, I'm from Venda. He's like, yeah, I've been to Limpopo. You guys are very nice people. I actually went there to see a Sangoma when my business was tanking. Mm. I'm like, what? White people see Sangomas? Yes, they do, I've, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've wow. known um, white people that actually consult. That's a thing. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a thing. It happens, bro. That um, There's this guy, I'm trying to Google him now, I forgot. Uh, one of the presidents, apartheid presidents, I think it was, was it Bota? No, Fervut. Fervut. He consulted. Uh, there's a, a guy, there's two very famous uh, Sangomas. Uh, there's Usosobala, you probably have heard stories of him. Mm -hmm. You don't know Usosobala? Mm -mm. Guy had a plane. Sangoma in the 60s had a plane. You lie. Swear to God, bro. Yo. Guy had a plane. Guy could do some crazy things. He's flying into the future. <laughs> <laughs> he had, like, yeah, he had a plane. He had a huge house. I think the house is still there in case it in. Then there was another one. I just forgot the name. Furwood consulted that guy um, before uh, 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 some huge election, which the National Party won. Um, and he became president. Mm. He trusted that guy and he would visit him once in a while, like to consult. And, During yeah. apartheid. During apartheid. And that guy also had like crazy cash. Mm. That guy also had crazy, crazy cash. The guy uh, 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 um, would also give tips, like horse racing tips, yeah. right? Mm. And he would win a lot. Like, he gives uh, you numbers. Because, because he would see that win. these things yeah. happening apparently, yeah. There's even a book. There's a book uh, 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 on that guy. What happened to him? He died, mm. um, but very rich guy. Even him, his house. Man, I'll find him. Is still I'll, alive? I'll Google. No, no, Sosobala also passed what away. Yeah. I man. think I'm going to ask my dad. I'm sure my dad would know that. Yeah. Ah, I was yeah. kind of... Yeah. But doesn't know Sosobala. He's huge. The legends of Sosobala, man. Mm. We hear them. Like the guy, yeah. Like, so white people, you get some who consult. That's crazy. Bro. Just like there's black people who consult with whites. Uh... Mediums, those mediums. mediums. Yes, yeah, well, yes. Call them mediums, yeah. Oh, I've never done that. Have you guys done that? Uh, um, no, no, I've not. I have once. For uh, real? Well, is it, is it, is it, yeah, like, um, it was a guy, a fortune teller. Yes, yes. Right? At, at, I don't know if he's at the real deal. At Rosebank, when they still used to have that flea market. Oh, yeah, at, yeah. yeah. At the rooftop. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I went there and I remember him saying, one day you'll need to get on, on a horse. Don't ride a black horse. Like, that's all he said, right? And then, uh, and he was like, he described the mm, the woman who's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, in a way. He, the one we can't talk about. He described. <laughs> you can't talk about any woman in my life. Like, well, not you can't. Man. <laughs> what a fool, this guy. <laughs> try, try, try. <laughs> Why Gena now? So yeah, I have. It was a picture. Do not ride the black, black horse. Black horse. Wakibela. Wakibela. Uwe le man. 
<laughs> no, 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 literally, yeah. It was like, yeah. Um, so it was a bit weird. I mean, it's always like encrypted, you know, these things. It's mm. never like straightforward. Um, it's like Vikings when you go see a wise one. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And and he t- they tell you something, but they never really say one day there will be. So what is a black horse? You know, is that a black car? Should we get a fortune teller? To come on the show. Oh, that would be Definitely. dope. That would be nah. lovely. I think we could do that. That would be that would be that would be super dope. Ooh. That would be nice. That would be so just dope. tell us what the future holds hey. for the podcast. Nah. Mm. Yo, no, no, but I'm scared, man. I don't like knowing the truth and like, the truth? future and I feel whatever. Like they only say nice things, though. Oh, nah, they do. I think. They only I think tell you nice things. If they are good, they must tell you the truth. Like which one? Who, who, who ever went to go consulting? They were told, "Oh, okay, um, you're gonna you, die." Yeah, you're dying on the fourth of July. But they like tell you that 2026. There's a dark cloud coming. Mm. You need yeah, to but prepare. Yeah, dark cloud could be like maybe losing a job or maybe business not coming through. You know, it's it's something that you can handle. They never prepare you for things that are like. No, nah, I think they do. They do tell you. I see calamity, blood, and tears for the next year unless you do a particular ritual to overcome that thing a good one should be able to tell you that because a bad one then can't tell you the bad things because they can't save you from them or help you from them but i think a good one will be honest with you and then give you a solution as to how do you remedy that or overcome it okay you know that's fair. They do tell you bad things. Because so many people want to see us down already. Hey, I'm scared. How? Of what they're going to say. No. We're still, still here. We're still standing. Yeah, still so standing. clearly, big things await. No. It will motivate us. Hmm? You will not focus on the negativity. What if they say I need to stop drinking or something? How? Then stop drinking. How? <laughs> 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 Maybe it will help you. Maybe it will help you. Stop drinking then. It's it's fine. It's okay. Imagine rocking life sober. Imagine. The the the, the Sangoma Hendrik Fervut used to consult with. His name is Koto Koto Situnta. Mm. A wealthy Inyanga from Lusikisiki had HF Fervut and JG Stratum as clients. Mm. And these are huge politicians in the apartheid era. Like this yeah, Google. But that isn't guy. that sleeping with the Koto enemy? Koto Situnta. Hmm? Isn't that sleeping with the enemy? Who, him? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, uh, there was a backlash, obviously, from, you know, f- fellow Africans. Like, yo, how can you, you know, but the guy was about his money, it was about his bag. Mm. The guy was about his money, it was about his bag. Um, sure. And yeah, the guy, like, dude, like, had so many mercs, he loved merc. It was a huge guy, Kotso Situnza. Google that guy, and there's a book I've been trying to get about him, which I haven't uh, gotten yet. It's like an entire book. Guy lived, like, Great Gatsby kind of life. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy, these stories. They can apartheid. There was like seriously, some seriously rich black people. Some were just pure business people. So Uzoto Abantu is onto something. What did she say? No, because I was watching her new show. Like her her, her show is, came out. Mm-hmm. Oh, how was she, it? Well, it was fine. Yeah. And she was there by Lusikitsi. Is it Lusikitsi? Lu- Lusikitsi, yeah. Lusikitsi, yes. Mm-hmm. Doing what? Consulting also. Oh! oh is it? Yes. Nothing she wrong with consulting. Yeah, nothing wrong. When last did you go? No, they I probably laid consult. an egg for her. We're cooking a tray. No, but it's good that she finally went to consult to Vugamak and Amy. <laughs> She's seen the light. <laughs> Zona probably thinks you hate her, dog. And nah, I love so much. I think, I know, I think if there's no someone who can way. take a joke, it's Zona. Dog. Yes. And she was at Summit the other day, and the manager at Summit posted, and I was like, ah, dude, when did she come? Unless she was posting old old uh, pics, because she she does go to Summit and gig there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guess what? So during the week. Cool. Because I took my car to uh, the car wash. Mm-hmm. So I parked my car there, I'm chilling with my woman, and then uh, out walks uh, Java. Oh, ah, yeah. Java loves Java, man. Yeah. So what has he said? Can we release this episode? No, no, no. He still mentioned the whole uh, lawyer thing. But I was thinking, I'm like, fuck, because... I remember there was a time when I was like, fuck Java, man. I'm mm. going to put that episode up. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Had I done that, meeting him now would have been so orcs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. You know? 
And I remember when you said you wanted to like, hey, I'm gonna put it up. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So so yeah, no, he no. came, he chilled with us, nice. we spoke, bro, man. Oh, man. That guy's so chilled, man. He, yeah, I get those vibes. Ah, like, that guy's so chilled. cool, man. Mm-hmm. Is he wise? Because he seems like he's wise. The shit he sings about. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like it seems like. But the like whole time very... I was talking about Lady Zamar. Oh, Is flipped. Okay. Um, but obviously, there's things I can't disclose. He has to say it. Oh, okay. mm. But I, I got a feeling like I think he still likes him, man. Is it? Yeah, because we, spo- we spoke about it for like 30 minutes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eish. And if they ever hook up, hey, I think ladies, I'm going to get a backlash. Mm. Especially from women that have supported mm. you so much and now you're doing this, you know, because I'm, yo, bro, if you still love ladies, I'm a, Perhaps they could fix things Because at the end of the day When it's all said and done It's two hearts It's two people yeah. If they will love one another Why can't they be together <laughs> And then he told me The craziest shit At the end of the day He told me There's now a new law That if you sleep with the girl And the condom breaks hmm. She can open a rape case Yeah if you don't tell her It is rape What? You don't know? No I didn't I'm like hey if Java you, trust you to know Yeah if you remove a condom Right? <laughs> And the girl obviously doesn't know. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Oh Wait, <laughs> did you crack a joke? No, it's not. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> not a joke. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> if you <may> continue, <laughs> yeah. If you remove a condom, or a condom breaks, and you as the guy, you're aware of it, but the lady is not aware of it. It's rape. Wow. It's some form of rape. It's mm. rape. Yeah, it's rape. That's hectic. Yeah, because you're being dishonest. Yes, you're you being dishonest, yeah. and you are taking something. She could catch something. You, you yes, know, or end up being pregnant. It's like wow. But I thought we were practicing safe sex. And you're and taking something that she wouldn't have given you without mm. the condom. Yeah. So mm. you are taking something sonar by force. Yep. <laughs> yep. True. You. So mm. no, you. can't do that. Yeah. You know, you can't do that. <laughs> So no no. <laughs> so no no. So no no. <laughs> yep. So no. No. Dude. Yeah, and it's rape. Careful, guys. Can't do that shit. Mm. I soon we're gonna go to jail for cheating, guys. No, 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 no. You can't. No. Yeah, no, that should happen. That should happen. That's a crime on its own. But we Seriously. can't equate. We can't equate cheating and removing. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know? Doesn't it, like, no. It, no, doesn't equal. Yeah. Yeah, no. man. Like. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say, ten years ago, if this was a rule, would you have been like, yeah? Would you be like, what? I see. Ish. It would make sense even ten years ago, you know? Yeah. Because you violated someone. Yeah, violate, bro. But it's not like you intentionally wanted the condom to break. No, no. A condom was broken when you, you were having sex at some point, mm-hmm. and either you continued or you stopped to. Oh yeah, no. Slip on another condom. Yeah, you stop telling the girl. Yes, yes. yes. that's fine. You, yes. That's See? not that's not rape. Yes. But if you continue, and mm. then mm. then you know what I mean. That is considered that right. as rape because the poor girl doesn't know that you've removed the condom. And if it's the condom has broken and you didn't say anything, it's as good as you removing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it would still make sense because it's like ish. You have to be honest. You're violating. The time. Yeah, exactly. You know. Uh, speaking about music, did you guys see that Casper tweet uh, where he was tweeting about Lady Do? Oh, Lady Do! Yeah. Do Do! She's yeah. from my hood, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, Do Do, she's good. She's being added. So basically, Casper tweeted that Lady Do is, people must watch out. She's going to be the biggest artist. Oh. Uh, the next big thing to come out is, is Lady Do. All right. Yeah, she's uh, a vocalist, essentially. Yeah. You're right? She's it's so crazy for me. Like, when all these people that I knew, Become famous, man. Like Lady Do, bro. I've known her since like yes, it's for years. Like maybe since two thousand eight. A vocalist. Mm. She has, hasn't she done music before already? She's been at it. She's she, Lady Do's been at it. She's man. the one who's doing that song in Hambang Online. Mm. Oh, mm, that's her Humbang song. Online, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I met her because she's DJ Zandy's sister. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Zandy used to play at all the Rock the Girls parties, and he would mm-hmm. come with her. And then I was meant to smash. I don't know what happened. <sighs> I think I found out she's Zandy's sister, and I was like, hey, maybe not. Zandy's niece, actually, because Zandy's older brother used to be a huge DJ, DJ uh, Chalk. Oh That's her father. So I think Zandy's niece. 
So now to see her blow up and become famous is like oh, so crazy, man. Mm. It's like now Mesh in a year's time, Mesh is like the biggest, you know. With five black cards. <laughs> Mm. Ah, mesh. In <laughs> are holding black cards. Is that the story? You got <laughs> black cards. Huh? We must go there and say, you see, Tanga Zenu Zenza, now I'm a black card. They're going to have a black card. <laughs> and he's a dropout, by the way, Mesh. Mesh is a dropout. He's a dropout, yes. bro. Yes. Mm. Yes. Why did you drop out, really, Mesh? Ah, oh, Lady Two's not answering. I will try again. But she's a hustler, man. No, I remember when I, was, when I was DJing, she's like, yo, Mag, uh, don't you want me to be a dancer? So while I'm DJing, she dances for me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, man, I ain't got time for that shit, man. I'm just trying to get laid out yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> so your block for you. <laughs> Only one dance floor you're entertaining. It's, a, it's in a queen size, right? It comes in queen size and a king size. Yeah, but that's great, man. Also, did you see uh, Alicia Keys did a... Wait, did I miss that one? That no, joke. no, no, not Joe. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I thought it flew over my head. Did He's on the edge. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alicia Keys. Uh, Foka. Yeah. Yes, did I, I did saw. Did I post uh, listening I to Kista? Hmm. Yeah. I think I saw. But it. I think Alicia Keys. I mean, she's in in touch with what's happening in SA in and the Swiss music beats. scene yeah. because of Swiss Beats mm. mainly Swiss because of Swiss Beats mm. I mean remember didn't she do something with Sun L but they never released it or what something was it? Mm. yeah man Swiss Beats flew Sun L over oh wow you, you guys know about that right yeah man definitely I remember it was supposed to happen it did happen Sun L went to with the, to Swiss Beats and they had a studio session they tried to rock something so was I'm not surprised Sun L. Sun L, not something sweet. No, it was Sun L, guys. Let's verify. It's but definitely Sun L. Oh, but that 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 song is taking off. Yeah, eh? Ooh, yeah. it's yeah. flying. Oh, no. Yeah, it's flying. Was she jamming to the remix? Yeah, I think so. I yeah, think it was so. Sun L in 2018. No, no, original, original. She was jamming to the original. The original. Oh, the original. Yeah. Nah, dope. Nice, nice one, one, man. Nice mm. one, bro. Yeah, fo- focalistic is on is onto something big. Yeah. What else has been happening, guys? Did you guys watch Coming to America? Has anyone seen it? Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Did and you guys watch it? No, I haven't uh, seen I've it. I've seen it. I haven't finished it. Is it? Yeah. Um, it sucked. It sucked for uh, you. Uh, did it suck? To say, like, Are you serious? The first one was obviously just amazing. At this time, even the acting was just a very lousy for me. But obviously, it was lovely because to, just to see, you know, Bo mm, you know, mm, but. Mm, 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 mm. It's nothing. It's, I don't think like there's a but when you, when an award-winning you, performance there. When you when you watched it the first time, you're young. Now you're older, so obviously your taste has changed. Mm. Yeah, but you know when you love something, you love it, you know. Mm. And or maybe I just no. When you started drinking, what were you what were you drinking? <laughs> a storm. Are you still drinking storm? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no. Storm Sasha, your boy. Yeah, Storm, <laughs> Storm, Storm, Storm is the one. Hey? Yo, 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 yo. Storm kids, you know. <laughs> so what are the jokes like similar to the first one? Because I mean, I feel like the first one was sort of my. Uh, I feel like it was just Leon Schuster vibes, you know, like yeah, like the jokes, joking oh. about. Wakala wa wa wa, and you're supposed to be speaking some African language, and that's supposed to be funny, oh, right? Okay, yeah. Or do you get me? Yeah. Uh, were they? Uh, were they? Those cheap yeah. African jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Stereotype. Yes. Stereotypical. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. yeah. This is a different era. Even Nomzamo had an accent. Yes, Zeksimda. Zeksimda called her out on the accent. How do you feel about that? Because mm. I think South Africans, we've got very neutral accents, right? So a lot of like Americans or people out there, when you speak, they may not even think you sound African, right? To be so. I, f- I found like listening to her as much as yes, I could see that she was attempting. I felt like she was attempting, but I could still f- hear her. Mm. Like, but I those hear- were director's orders. That's where I'm going. Because we don't have strong, super strong accents like West Africans. We don't have very thick accents when we speak English. So it makes sense for the director to say, we need you to have especially because you're not playing in South Africa. Was she playing a South African girl? No. Exactly. So you're not playing a South African girl, then obviously you're not going to use your South African well, accent. Well, I don't know where Zamunda is. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just <laughs> find out. <laughs> is Zamunda in South Africa? You see, for example, it's a fictional place, right? Mm. Yeah. So, 
then she can't be using an accent that can be uh, 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 connected to maybe West Africa or whatever mm. because it's a fictional place. And big and shout out to her, man. She's got a Puma collection now. No, she's had, she's had it. Oh, she's had it. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, been, she's been, with, been Puma. with Puma. Oh, shit, I just found out recently. Nah, no, she's been sure she's with Puma. Before she even Puma from Mapunya. Ma- <laughs> she was with Puma already. <laughs> Been. Before she even Puma from South Africa, you know? <laughs> exactly. She's been with Puma. My thing is, what is a South African accent? We don't even have one. We, we do, do, bruh. What we is do. it? What is it? Trevor Noah rocks oh. it, especially. What is the South African accent? The way we speak. We've got different accents, bro. It's like That's America, they... they've got different accents. In the UK, they've got different accents yeah. depending where no, you're from. Bro, like so, in Niger- in so Vendor. Has, do, we have a very, yeah. do we have a vendor South African accent? Yeah. No, we do. <laughs> wow, come those. on, bro. But that's what we I'm do. saying. We've got a Each big culture accent. is the same. Vendors speak English differently to Zulus and Kosas. Yes. Hence, we don't have a South African accent. We don't have a national accent. But it's exactly. the way we speak English also. Because remember, there's um, English, how Britons, like British people speak, right? And then there's okay. English, how South Africans speak. Give me English. the South African uh, accent. Then. The way we're talking right now, guys. The way no, we're talking, man. The, the way white we people, speak. the white people from Benoni, they don't speak like this. They've got that other that weird. Uh, yeah. Like, no, yeah, but then if you take a rugby player, like you see Angus' accent when he speaks English, it sounds like a white kid from Boxburg. Exactly, that's a different accent. Yeah, we've got different accents. So which one is the South African one? We don't have a national accent. That's what I'm saying. But that goes for every country. To be yeah. honest, no, Ni- like, Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria, Nigeria, they've got a Nigerian no, accent. No, but that's a thing. Some people you can. If a Nigerians can say this one is from this side, this one because even pidgin English, there's pidgin what? Yeah, it's pidgin English. English yeah, yeah. In, in Nigeria. Oh, okay. like, Look, West how, African, the way Ghana, is, yeah, Cameroon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? It's their own English. It's their own English. <laughs> it's almost almost Don't like, you know? yeah. It's almost like... <laughs> when you went to, to... And how they spoke to you. Remember how you were saying uh, when you arrived at the airport and they were in Nigeria. offering you Coke? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's no, but that, English. I thought that's the Nigerian accent. It's like, take, but take, my brother, take. Wait, yeah. you go to Nigeria and a, a dealer offered you Coke? No. <laughs> he was buying Coke. I just Coke. heard Nigeria <laughs> Coke. Oh, my God. Airport. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What? You see, this is, this is how we're going to be... Happened? Cancelled. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, I got to the airport. airport and he was buying cool drink. Cool drink, oh, like Coca Cola. Oh, flip. Oh. Yes. And the guy was acting like I'm doing him a favor. He's like, hey, my man, here, take, take, take. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pigeon English, how they how they speak there. Yes. Yeah. But you I, are right. There yeah. are countries that sort of has like the same accent. Because he is right. With Nigerians, you don't really get too much differences. It's distinct. It's because you don't know. It's because you possibly, don't know. Possibly, possibly, yeah. possibly. It's once you're in the country, like you'd know, like, okay, they can distinguish. Mm. But someone from out, they just say, you all sound the same. Mm. Mm. Now, just like they'll say, all black people look the same. No. Mm. True, true, true. You true. as a black person, you know that we don't look the of same. Of course. Of course. It's yeah, but I think they must cut them some, some slack. She got instructions from the director. Mm. What is she supposed to do? Fight the director. Mm. Defy the director. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. I guess it's also pronouncing words. Mm. Maybe it's like, if, if she was just saying it in her normal accent, it would be like, we don't understand. You know, like water, water. Mm. Yes. Water. Yes. So it's like, please pronounce it better. And then you'd be like, yes. now we're going to hammer her for saying water. Exactly. Yeah, uh, Because there's some English words that... Uh, we vendors say like in a vendor slang. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, like I, know, what? I know I hear pedis. You know, pedis speak English. There's the certain pedi English mm. thing, ne? Mm. Mm. Or maybe Zimbabweans, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sigisti. Yo, you know a lot of people. Sigisti. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Sigisti. <laughs> Sigisti. <laughs> Sigisti. <laughs> That's 60, yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's fine for when you, you know, you see? Yeah. You know, speaking about Zimbabwe, right? mm-hmm. it, people can say whatever they want to say about Mugabe. Mm-hmm. But I admire him from for for educating his people. Mm. Oh man, Zimbabweans oh. are very Zimbabweans well are educated. Fucking smart, bro. Edu- smart. Yes. Zimbabweans. <laughs> yo, yo. Like their education, in fact, even um, I think Zimbabwe had the best education, <coughs> like with, in, in Africa. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. Zimbabwe yeah. had the had like oh, I don't know now, but had the best education. Mm, it's the Cambridge system. Mm. Yeah, yeah. When they done, they get O levels and A yes, levels. Yes, A levels, O levels, ordinary yeah. level, advanced level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Zimbabwe. So why can't our government do the same? 
Ish. I don't know, bro, because I mean, Zimbabwe is a stone throw away. I do not know why we've never been able to adapt or just ask them or adopt rather their system and ask them, how do you, how are you guys making it work? You have all these people who finish high school, yet they are equipped to do a lot of things that, you know, some South Africans can't do. Yeah. I don't know why. Because when I heard about the Vitz protests, know. I was like, oh, this is deja vu, man. Like, this happens every year at this mm. time. Yeah, Yo. yeah, 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 yeah. For how long? Worse. For how long? Even worse. It's like how? Like we need to be taking our students like seriously, and that's the government. It's like you're failing, you know. You're failing the students. Disney. And now it's worse because this is trying to. It's this, ne? Trying to silence the students. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if we had a student, so, yeah. we had students who said they want to come onto the show. Uh -huh. um, they are chillers. They said they want to come onto the show and explain exactly from the students' they're perspective part of the, what's yes. happening right now. What yeah. is is happening right now? And uh, we agreed they're gonna come onto the show. And this morning is like, yo, well, last night he said he can't do it because one of the SRC members got suspended from school because they were talking to the media. So now vets are suspending these kids for just speaking out. So if this one had come onto our platform and yeah, revealed voice notes. and revealed his yeah and revealed his identity. And he's just trying to finish his degree, but he could have gotten suspended or expelled or whatever. Wow. Imagine, So bro. Vitz is flexing, is swinging their big dicks right now. So, but Dude. what narrative was the media trying to... Push. Push, yeah? <clears throat> sure. It's tricky, yeah. You can never know these things. But anyway, let me play the voice notes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Away, away, bro. Um, yo, we, have a, we have a problem. So one of the comrades, like the, the SRC treasurer, just got sus suspended, you know, um, from the varsity because of this whole protest thing, you know. Oh. They've been addressing the media with regards to what's happening in VETS right now. So I don't think, um, like, making the call tomorrow will be appropriate, especially because um, how VET is acting towards the whole thing, you know, they're trying to silence us. And as much as I would love to, you know, to enlighten people to know what's really going on here, I don't want to, you know, get into trouble, you know, because I'm just trying to get my degree here and Shame, and leave, you know. I hope that you understand, bro. If we got to do this, it got to be well curated and, you know, um, in a way that it won't backfire anybody. Mm. So right now we're just trying to understand why did the comrade um, get suspended? What did she do? You know, and how exactly is VETS trying to... Okay, how exactly is VETS expecting us to address the media with the issues that are happening here? You know, I hope that you understand, bro. Um, we can still do it some other time, but now I think it's bad timing. Do you think because it's, of what it's, happened to him. Do you think it's VETS to blame? Uh, because... They're an institution, so they got to do and protect what's right for them. But, oh, by the way, I think he's got a vendor accent, right? <laughs> oh, oh, you heard it. Exactly. You can tell the guy's vendor, right? And you're going to be like, we don't have different accents here. No, I said we don't have a South African accent. Oh, yes, yes. But you can tell different accents. Yeah. Um, look, Vets is not the enemy, man. And Vets know that. They are not the enemy. The kids want free education. Which the, the government promised us. Thank yes. you. The enemy is government. Of course, the kids will then revolt at vets because that's where they are struggling to pay these registration fees. Mm. You know what I mean? So so I, I understand vets, but let the kid, kids speak out because it's not vets, the, the, the enemy. Vets can't pay for kids' fees out of their own money. So they why need to get subsidized them? by the government. So why silence them? Exactly. Good question. Mm. Why silence the kids, vets? Because you're not the enemy. I know uh, uh, they marched uh, in Pretoria to the tertiary um, education department. Yeah. That's the, if you want to call it enemy. Yeah. Even them, they're not an enemy, but they must just help students. Do you uh, know someone who went to Fitz? Know someone who went to Fitz mm, way, way back. Yeah? Mm. Was this shit happening back then even? Obviously, there was no social media at that time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I guess so the, these movements obviously just started when the past, what, two, three years? Mm. Like when two, um, uh, the fees must fall. Mm. Obviously, then it was just. Hey, no, the what do you think? Grab a mic there. Not Mesh. Mesh is going to tell us about his bank account and shit. Yeah, well, he's serious he, things. And he hates school. He hates school. Oh, yeah, he dropped out. He's I the worst person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak to the engineer, the only engineer in this crew. <laughs> 
who actually got a degree. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this, dog? Uh, well, this is something that has been happening for, for a long time, you know? Like you said that in the past, there was no social media. You know, mm. when we were told, when we were like first years, uh, the seniors told us that uh, like back in 2002, these things have been there. Mm. You know, those movements have been there. Uh, they've been fighting for fees and everything. So, you know, the era started in 2015. That was when I was doing my first year. Mm. When FISMAS 4 was strong and then we marched to Union Building and everything. You know, oh, you marched to Union Building? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. You were there? Yeah, I was there. And did that have any impact? Like, what changed after that? You remember that day? Hold the mic like this. Hold the mic. Oh, yeah. you remember, if, if you can remember that day, um, <laughs> we were there at the Union Building and then we were told that uh, the president which was Jacob Zuma then, mm. was going to address us on the national TV. Yes. Right? And then, when he addressed on later on that day, he said, there's going to be 0% increment mm. of the fees. Mm. So, where that was not a victory because the match was for the, fill, the fees to, to fall. Fall, completely. Not that 0% mm. increment or whatsoever. Mm. And then, it happened that in 2017, but I think that was a stunt because... That was when he was going out of office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he declared free education, which has never happened till S this year. Yeah. yeah. Also, he threw the next person under yeah. the bus. Mm. Basically. Basically. Ooh, shit, man. And uh, he commented now that the government must do better, whatever, whatever. Jacob Zuma. I'm like, Ooh. but dude, you were president. Yes, yes. When these started, when Abu Numpendu Lomkacho, I remember her, that uh, the female leader, the one who used to wear an ANC mm, uh, Duke. Mm. Yeah. Now she's got a comfy job. She's uh, at Lutuli House. She's a parliamentarian now. Comfy mm. job. And I, I feel like s some students just took what they could from it. Uh, they got careers from the whole fees must fall, especially the leaders. Like Vianney Pambo is now a spokesperson for EFF. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man. But the struggle still continues. Yeah, cool. Shout out to La Cizu and, and Sibu Mabena, man. Oh, I saw that. Did you see that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. Ten Rand Initiative. Yeah, yeah, they had a live uh, last night. Yeah. Uh, twenty four hours, ne? Yeah. Yeah, they had like a twenty four hour live, and they were asking various celebrities to join in the and live donate. and donate ten rand or more. You know, mm. wow. and I think last time. I watched they raised about 350k yeah I saw uh, that was also last time I watched as well about a 300 yeah, yeah so and shout yeah, out to Sarah cool. Langa she uh, contributed 20,000 bucks wow 20,000 wow. shout out that's amazing bro that's nice. crazy it just goes to yeah. show like when we come together the power the power yeah ne? Oh. but why did it need to take look a, a dead you know person who got shot an innocent mm. person students you know uh, uh, Lighting up the whole of Bromfontein, you know, for that to happen. Yeah. You know, I think that's the sad part, but I'm glad it has started. It has happened. I guess regardless of why now, but money is now there to help. Yeah. Just drop in the ocean 300k if you look at, you know, the money that's required. To, but it's to something. Put, mm. But it's something and mm. it will go towards a, a good cause. And can we please keep it up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if it could be a, a, a constant thing, even mm. when there are no students uh, burning up tires in the streets, uh, protesting, can we just keep it up? I think there's so much power, man. All of us, you know, even if it's the minimum 10 bucks, it will make a huge difference. It will create a, a solid fund to put I heard Jackie serious Pamute kids. Um, came through and said that um, she will cover the, fee the funeral costs. Yes, Jackie Pamoti for the, for for the, the guy who got shot. Got shot uh, shot guy. dead. Uh, all I saw when she went on are snake emojis <laughs> <laughs> on the live. <laughs> snake park. Jackie is in your one year Pamoti. No, man, shout out to her. Though. Do you think we should put up uh, Jackie Pamuta part two for the new members? Because initially, when it came out, we put it up just for the members. Mm. Should we do it again? Oh, Gonje, it got exed, ne? Yeah, I don't know. Like we couldn't put it up. We couldn't put it up. Mm. I think you should. Yeah, for membership, ne? For yeah. members. For yeah. Just for the members, ne? Yeah, just for yeah. the members. Yeah, just for no, the members. Yes. Now they, yeah. 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 they deserve it. They deserve it. And please don't take uh, screenshots yeah, yeah, and yeah. clips. Please. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll ban you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get nothing. <laughs> Let's just see that we can trust you. Yeah. Then we can give you some facts yeah. that are a lot more confidential. Yeah. You know, Yo, but it's been a sad week, man. When I heard oh. that Menzi Gubani passed away, I was like, no. Ah, oh, bro. The king, the king, guys. Dude, that guy was. Oh. 
Like he was effortless, bro. Everyone Who means he killed. It? Yeah, means yeah. It, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still remember him as Masui. Pa, dude. Ooh, pa, no sing in, in the house. house. Pa, woo. And I was literally like, still a, like a baby then. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Where were you when you heard? Um. Well, I heard the news last night. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What did you think? No, so? I was home, man. I said, bro, and the guy, I mean, has been struggling yeah. with, with kidney kidney, kidney oh. problems and eventually he... Oh, lady he, dude's calling. He even home. got a donut. He, yeah, he got a donut yeah. eventually, man. And now, stroke. Hey, hey. Tato Sam. Hey, bro. You live on my podcast with Jan? Hey? You live on the podcast with Kred? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, love. Tell me, why didn't we smash? Because I was meant to smash you. What happened? What happened, bro? Why didn't I smash you? I was meant to smash you, you remember? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was too slow, ne? Yeah, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> How too are slow. you, though? How are you there, lady hey, dude? Hey, lady I'm dude. I'm good, I'm good. I'm the one that got away. You're the one that got away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot of those this year. First, it was Nandine Matita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, listen, man, I'm so glad that you're doing so well. It's so nice to see, because I was telling the chillers, like, dude, you've been at this, like, since I've known you. And to see you, like, yeah. getting your flowers, now, it's amazing. And it's only going to get better, bro. Uh, thank you so much for the support and the love. And whenever you know, hey, I was on top of the table, dancing, DJing, trying everything out. Until it happened, so I'm so grateful and I'm so happy about that. And and how has it been? Because people only see you now rocking, but you've been like doing this for nine years and you never mm. gave up, bro. Mm. Uh, so, no, the thing is, when when you do something because you love it, not because of the fame and the money, and, then you won't give up because it's all based on love, you know. So now that it's popping, you're actually getting the rewards and you're understanding the business side. And it's better to be successful late than to be successful early because then I would have boxed my money. But mm. now I know what I'm going to do with my money, investments and all of that. So I appreciate the fact that it took me 10 years to get to where I am because then I will use my money wiser, you know. Because listening to your uh, previous podcast with Dave, I learned so many things, you mm. know. Mm. Um, as to she got famous fast and she didn't know anything about investments and what what you see. So for me, I am grateful that I actually went through the 10 year struggle mm -hmm. because then I got all the scars for it and now I'm getting the reward. Ah, uh, you know what? Someone online. Someone online. So can we pick up things where we left them off or is that aye, 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 no, no, Okay, no. all right, all right. No, I'm just checking. <laughs> Pele, you're hot now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lady Do, we love you, man. Keep rocking, man. All the best, yeah? Ah, thank you so much, Vicky. All right, cheers. So bye. All right, bye. Oh man, such a sweetheart. She's been at it, bro. She has, man. So nice eh? when that happens, oh, man. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the actress, the other actress who passed away? Uh, Nokolo. Nokolo Mashakalala. Yeah, right? That's, yeah. I think that's the surname. Yes, man. She was on she... Kings of Joburg, ne? I think I saw the. Mm, I don't know. No. Oh, I remember her from Cha Cha. She was like the leading yes. lady on Cha Cha with, um, oh, Cha -Cha. with her now. What's his name? Sianda, Sisa, or Sisa. There's also something Hena. on Netflix. I've been trying to remember the name. Huh? Diamond City. Diamond City. Yes, yes. Diamond City. Yes, she's yes, she's yeah. on that as well, yeah. man. Oh, she was she, brilliant. Yeah. Nah, she's she was good, man. May I so rest in peace. It's interesting though, like the forensics, when they performed the post-mortem or whatever, um, they said she had been dead for a week. Wow. When she was because she was discovered in her house. Dead, mm. but she's been so dead she for a week. Alone? Cause the cause they haven't told us the cause yet. <laughs> Clearly, she was staying alone. Yeah. Oh man! Imagine, bro. Yeah. For a week, and no one bothered to. Okay, I guess eventually someone realized. No man, this person hasn't been picking up their phone. It's now maybe eventually off. What's wrong? Clearly, but it took a week. Mm. No, I'm not gonna understand because my career was dead for a while. Your what? <laughs> Yo, who? His career. <laughs> and no one ever checked it'd be that like on you. Yeah, it be like that No sometimes. one checked that on you. They're, they're, they're like that, right? They're like that. Me too. They're like that. 
No, I'm like, hey, we haven't seen Sol in a while. Yeah. Where is he? Yo, Sol, where are you? What are you doing? Like, what, what's up with you? You know what now I mean? Now that you start smelling, they're like, oh, God, oh, he's here. He's yeah, exactly. here. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Kings Wellettini as well. Oh, oh Kings Wellettini. Dude, what a crazy man. week. Yo. Yeah, see Cotem. See Cotem. Yeah, I was. So, uh, I asked yeah. some mothers who look at us. I'm like, ah, Shoni Nikos. They're like, ah, yeah. Ikote. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Ikote. It means he's now resting. Yes. You know what? There's a weird feeling. I can't explain it. But there's a weird feeling about how lately, when someone passes away, right? People are quick to. Uh, RIP. RIP, obviously. Mm-hmm. Hashtag. And then put up the picture on WhatsApp as a mm-hmm. profile. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And then the next day, like, people just move on. Well, we have to move yeah, on. It's move life. I know, but I'm saying, like, it's like Menzi, dog. Do you know what he did for this country? But what like, can we, you and I do? Just <laughs> shout I know, man, but do you know what I'm saying? I can't explain it, but, like, it just feels so emotionless. Or, like... Uh, no, okay, think about it. If there was no social media and there was no WhatsApp and all these platforms where we're going to post this picture, you weren't going to do anything. Mm-hmm. You're just going to say, hey, she means, and that's it. And that's it. And you still move on. Exactly. It's like, what has changed? What has changed? Can't we do like an omnibus, like this TV does a pop-up channel. We do an omnibus of Menzi's work, mm-hmm. celebrate him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's not we. It's that's, yes, TV. Yes, that's not us. Us, it's, we can't do we anything, can't do Chief. anything. It's that the best we can do is put up like on a post. Like, yeah. You know, that's right it. Oh, what can we do? But the Zulu Nation is on some, you know, until Inkos each alway. You know? Did you go watch? So, did you go watch any of Menzi's past previous work? Nah, not yet, man, not yet. Um, but maybe I should. Maybe I will. But I mean, Menzi. I think we celebrated him and we gave him his flowers. Yes. Mm. Uh, remember when he won that? There was these awards where, like, we just voted for our favorite personality. I forgot something star or something, mm. and he got that, and it was like a cash prize exactly. of a million or something like that. Yes. Uh, so I think we gave him his flowers. I think he probably has gotten a lifetime achievement. Mm-hmm. He he deserves it at the Safters or something. He's got um. So we gave him his flowers. Um. So yeah, it would be a nice touch, you know. F- for the omnibus to air or all the shows he's been on or some highlights. So you guys don't think there's anything wrong with, hey guys, Minzo Gabani has passed away. Oh my goodness. Put up a profile picture and then tomorrow like, it's like... You what never... should I do tomorrow? What should we do? <clears throat> should I then tomorrow... What should I do tomorrow? Mm, I don't know, bro. Eh, should I play Mazui and put it up on my WhatsApp? <laughs> like, what should we do, man? You know, <laughs> we'll live. You I'm going to die one day. Mm. I'd like people to remember me for that week or whatever. And then they live it's life. It's not even a week now, bro. They it's live a day, life. hours. Well, his family, obviously. But people are, the further people are away from, uh, from you, as far as relations or whatever, then the less time they'll spend mourning you because they didn't have that connection. I mean, we loved Menzi on our screens, but... We didn't know him like that, that our lives can be at a, st- uh, at a standstill for a month or a week. Remember you know like... I mean? Even Mandela, bro, I mean. Remember like with um, music, if you had an album, you could push it for like months, two months, three months. Yeah. Right? And then social media made it like, you know, like you have to release a song every single day. Mm. So people don't actually get to appreciate the album because there's so much new music coming out Mm, 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 mm. so that's what I'm trying to say I'm saying like there's no time to mourn and actually like celebrate and reflect it's literally WhatsApp status hashtag done Mm. do do you get what I'm trying to say bro? Mm. we live in different times yeah it's fast paced (laughs) yeah even with that post I could be saying R.I.P. Uh, as soon Nancy. as it's up And then the next post yeah. I'm there like hey. doing, Twerking Exactly like, yeah. Exactly yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying The next post yeah. is Like catch you This Sunday I'm so and so Please friends Let's go out You know mm. Next one is a selfie mm. So can you imagine In just a space of seconds You've put up these posts And it's like ah, Don't you have time to even You didn't even mourn mm. Literally just It was R.I.P You know but that speaks to people just doing it for because it's what everybody else is doing. Oh, not really yeah. because you're mourning Menzi. Right? That, not yeah. really because Ish, my day's ruined now. My favorite actor passed away or such a legendary actor passed away. Mm-hmm. People are doing it because they don't want to miss out. Everybody else is doing it. It's like with the Zulu King, right? 
I haven't posted because I feel like everybody's doing no, it. And, I posted you know, the Zulu King. I did. Yeah, but, but I was and you really mean it. And you yeah. really, you are, you are really touched. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I mean, you're Zulu. Yes. So, yeah, I feel like it's just, ah, fashion, everybody, ah, there, it's trending. I also post it. And then you're going to post your, you twerking after. Maybe that's where my dissatisfaction comes from. Mm, but yes. Yeah. Anyway. Kosleen, what else is happening? What's been going on? Oh, did you hear the black coffee thing? Oh, what happened? Ooh. What happened? Mm. Okay, just hold on. What's Nati doing now? What? The tiny desk uh, thing. Tiny desk? Yeah, yeah, the tiny desk performance. You know those tiny desk uh, concerts? Which yeah, one? you had that. I saw that trending. At his birthday? Yeah, on his birthday. They dropped it on his birthday. What's yeah. a tiny desk performance? You don't know. Tiny yeah. desk concerts. It's yeah. a YouTube channel. They've got like generally artists come and perform. Literally it's a desk or whatever. But with this case, he's a DJ. So, And I think he did it from this side. It didn't go to the normal set due to Corona or whatever. And that's it, basically. Mm. It's like a concert. I enjoyed that interview he had with, um, well, uh, Nesty C and Scoop, though. Did you see that one? Ah, that one. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, How? there's an article. Late. You're no. sleeping with the enemy now. Yeah, no, that's no. why I'm like, I want to so no. let's move on. Hey. Oh, that's, no. ah, and by the way, Nesty C is not the enemy. Uh, Scoop, whatever, is not the enemy. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We that's love I mean. Nasty. Uh, we yeah. love Scoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's acting like that Sangoma. <laughs> <laughs> that was hey, empowering. Coco <laughs> Situnza. Is that you? Coco, Coco Situnza. Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> yeah? Asking us about. Sangoma, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 no, 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 Asking no. us about our old mutual friends. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have mutual friends anymore. With new friendships. Uh, yeah. All righty, this is an article, guys. Um, Edlin Bali has filed for protection order against her ex-husband, claiming to be to be scared of him as he storms in at their house at any given time. In her statement, she claimed that DJ hit her hand what? when she restricted oh. him from entering the house and disturbing her dinner party. Hectic. Nati asked me why I was throwing a dinner party without his permission. I then asked why I needed his permission and he said because it's his house. So basically then, they still like see each other and they still like... Well, they've got kids. Yeah, not, not me. I mean, but you know when you have kids, you just drop off the kids, they pick them up, whatever. But I'm so she's still like, living in the family home in his I house. So. I guess so, you know. Uh Wow. But maybe they have a number of houses, so it's like a kill and divide, you know, like you keep this mm. one. But because you still have to come pick up the kids from the house and you still have that entitlement, like it is my house or whatever, you know. So she's filed for a, a, a restraining order and she's still going to be living in his house. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. But I guess it's 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 not his house. Maybe it's the house oh, well, they had. Well, it's together. their house. Yeah. Actually, it's their. To be honest, yes. it's their house because they were house. married, right? Yeah, they were married. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. And we, I'm assuming they had more than one house. Mm. You know how obviously in the settlement we'd be like, okay, you keep this one, I'll take that one. Mm. But in the person's mind, it's still my house. Kind mm. of like that kind mm. of. Mm. So if you break up with Mnaga, mm -hmm. this is still our house. <laughs> It becomes my house. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit her hand. Yes, hit her hand. Oh, damn. Eesh. Can't be his hand. Mm. I then told him it's our home. Okay, so she even... Okay, I then told him it's our home and I'm puzzled. He then threatened to call the cops mm. to shut it down. He was at this point... Okay, he was at this point shouting and then the guests... The guests that had already arrived were watching. Mm. So even there were... There's witnesses to this. Hey. That's my, like, okay. So, luckily... You know what's tricky yourself. about this? Are the people going to speak up? Uh, yeah. I don't like getting involved with couple things because you never know what's going on, bro. Yeah. And there's always two sides to a story. That's yeah. the thing when we were talking about Java. That's what I had in my head. Mm. Like, you know, with couples, that's mm, one exactly. moment you get, it's like, you'll be super angry. You hear the one side of the story, you hear another side, and yeah. then it's like... Yeah, boy. Because you know? next mm. week, what if uh, uh, they say they're getting back together? Because mm. it looks like they, they, they see each other a lot mm. Nah but I don't think they see each other I think maybe He's living in a different house Or whatever And she For, for the sake of the kids Is still at home Because she needs to take care of the kids She is still Umama mm. Abandwana Up until the divorce is settled And perhaps maybe she'll get the house You know what I mean um, When the divorce settlement is done She'll get the house 
because she does need a house to raise the kids, mm. right? So I think it's that kind of situation. Or maybe he was coming to see the kids or whatever, but I don't think they still see each other as in they are still living under one roof. No love back. In, in the same bed. No, 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 no. I don't think he's... he's, he's, he's he, no, I don't think so. Right, because that, that, that slaps, eh? Left in, back. Left back. Oof. Why? It's like, oh, it's crazy, man. That makeup sex. Yeah, the first you, time. You dig it. Yeah. Is it? Hey. Wow. I remember when I broke up with my baby mama, when we got back together, it was crazy, man. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's maybe that's so, why some people then will story break time. up to make up. <laughs> yeah. Hit us, hit us with a story time. No, I was <laughs> I was really like, you know, we're doing the deed. Mm. I'm really like, baby, I love you. He's like, I love you too. Don't leave me. I'm like, I will never. <laughs> <laughs> the streets are cold it's too cold baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's very emotional dog oh. yeah because I think you you know you know you know that saying you don't know what you have until it's gone it's, yeah. so when they come back you appreciate them even more that's true yeah is that the time when you were out in the streets you went to lady do and she's like no no oh, that was years back man lady uh, do is 2008 stock is it yeah no, so, she so, didn't make it a stock. Like, no, 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 nope, nope. <laughs> she just declared it. She, nope. <laughs> no chance, nothing. Nothing, Mpana. <laughs> so what Black Coffee did is what Lady did, do, did to you. Hey, Okshai sang. I win. No, man. Lady do, there was too many options at the time. I think I forgot. Yeah, and so you're only I, a club then. Yeah, right? In, yeah, around our hood. So I think I threw bones, and then I forgot to come back to, because there was so much. Mm. There was a buffet, you know. You ain't trying to chase after a piece of meat when there's all this buffet here, right? When there's all these bones. Hey, Sashi Sangom. Anyway, so anything else you want to add, bro? Um, nah, man. Yeah. What happened? Uh, uh, Chilla gave me such a I don't know, I thought it was a dope idea. Mm -hmm. Someone what? said I should do a crazy reunion. Like a one episode. A crazy as in when you used to be on crazy. crazy. Yeah, like get more Salamina, Stefina. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yo, that'd be dope, man. That'd be so yo, cool. Yo, you think yo, people yo, even care though? No, we do care. Yeah. That would be like a nice throwback. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what Musa's doing. I know Salamina and Ketiwe have I mean and Stefina have a production company. Like, uh -huh. They shoot movies. Uh, I don't know what everybody else is doing. But who do you think um, were the better TV kids? Like, who do you think has turned out better? The Yo TV kids or the crazy kids? I think crazy kids. Nah. Yeah, man. I think crazy kids. Because yeah, we've got... Because uh, funny enough... Bobby was part of crazy as well. Mm. Was Bobby part of crazy? Ntando do, man, eh? No, no, no. Ntando Pearl Mudiadi. Yeah. Pearl Mudiadi, yeah. Um... I was a fan of your TV Muso. more than crazy, actually. And then your TV, they just got Doctor Moose. Yeah, they've got CC. Yeah, everybody they just f fell through the cracks. There used to be Mandy. Nandi was crazy. Yeah, Nandi was Nan crazy. I think. Nandi was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I think crazy man. They they they, they yeah. A lot of the guys on on your TV just disappeared. It was Pio. Remember, Pio and Charlie. Mm. Yeah, Ooh, just then he yeah. went on Generation Z. Disappeared. Mandy said disappeared. All the KTV kids relocated. Is in UK. <laughs> <laughs> All the KTV kids they relocated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no man, I wanted to talk about that thing. When you asked me what's on my mind, yeah. Professor Adam Habib, you saw that nigga. Yeah. That they they're cancelling him and he look, we're not we're against cancel culture. Yeah. But this guy, so he used to be the vice chancellor in in, in Vits. Yeah, yeah. And now he's the director of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. Mm. And on a Zoom call or whatever lecture, he said the N-word. He dropped the N-word. And then one student is like, yo, uh, I don't think it's wise for you to drop the N-word. It's, yeah. it's, we can't accept that. Then he's like, you can't, I can, literally. What? Fuck and repentance, like, you can't, I can. And then Are someone sure else called Piers him out. Morgan? Another, huh? Are you sure it wasn't Piers Morgan? Yeah, that, nah, that one. Adam Habib, Professor Adam Habib. What? That guy's always been problematic. And then he lies and he tells these poor English students that where I'm from, we can use the word. No way. Show me an Indian who's going around calling people the niggas. Yeah. What? Yeah, like, no, 
no, bro, you can't. You can't use the word in South Africa. And now they're canceling him. And I, bro, I, some people just want to get canceled, really, yeah. honestly. As, as a student leader. And also, dude, you're the director of Oriental and African Studies. Mm. And you think, and you are lying to students that back in Africa, Indians are allowed this to say is, the word nigger. This is what nigger. they say? No way. And you're the director of African St- Studies? It's nonsense. Jeez, what's he smoking, If bro? anything, we had bro. the Kaffir word, like, which was totally cancelled. Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, I, I don't understand. How does now we adopt an American word? Dude, and it, it, and these students are trying to put him back in line and he was like, no, no. Yeah, that's a lie. Hey, that's students lie. have been busy this week. Yeah, yeah Dude, now they're calling no. for his head, which, mm. yeah, no. they'll get, he'll probably get, they'll probably dismiss him. Shit, man. No, to be right, it's time to make some announcements. I've got so many things I gotta say. All right, so uh, Digi Tickets is gonna be sponsoring the Chillers Club this Friday. Oh, shout so out to Digi Tickets. Digi Tickets. Digi Tickets. Uh, Saul is taking over merch. Yes, yay! Because he's got a printing company. So yeah. as from today, he's taking so over. So is that the shirt by Saul? No, no, this no, is no, my cousin. My cousin oh. made this. But we'll do like this it also. I like, like it. it. I, li- I, I love it. I fucking love that. I fucking yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah, I don't like it. It's too bright, man. You know, I don't like bright things. No. Yeah, you're not bright, man. You're not a bright, <laughs> you're not, you're not a bright spark. <laughs> never been. Yeah. Yeah, so Saul's taking over merch. He's going to be taking your orders. Yeah. Making sure they get delivered on time. Yes. Because we had a lady that we're using, but her mm-hmm. turnaround time is, is way too She's long. too slow, right? Yeah, man. Nah, no worries, man. And you know, people now hands. when they order, in good hands. Yeah. they want it now. Now. Can, as, exactly. Actually, where do people like... Order. They, we are. Where do they order? This is macg.com. All right. So you go there... All the designs will be there. Uh, Saul's going to be adding some more designs, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to add more designs. You get there. And it's simple. The order, choose your size, color, design, quantity. You make payments and then we'll ship um, it out. We'll ship it out. Perfect. That's nice it. One. Yeah. And uh, you'll ship out um, internationally or is it just? Well, they'll pay for the no, courier. No, internationally, there's another company that does it. Teespring. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome yeah. then. Yeah, Br- yeah. Brilliant. So it's okay. just local. All right. And then also, you know what I was thinking? Ah, it's time to get a, a studio, guys. We need a studio. Ah, I think it's time to a build studio. a studio. Yeah, oh. like a podcast studio, bro. I think it's time. I think it's time. Hey? That would be dope. We have been talking about it for long. Yeah. So I'm thinking, Ghost Lady, can, can't you get us like a cottage around Midrand, Centurion, that we can turn into a studio? Okay. Can you? Are let's, they around? Let's see. Let's see. Let's you, see what's on offer. Yeah. In these okay. um, hot times, I think a lot of... Places have been available. Because so, remember know. my own pl- my old place, the garage? Yeah. yeah something like that would be nice. That would be nice. We turn yeah. the garage into a studio mm. and we start rocking from there. I really? think we've overstayed our just, welcome here. And it just becomes state. a plug and go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Plug and go. No, no, sure. no. Mm. It's, 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 it's part of the... It's been a podcast yeah. plan, right? Yeah, yeah. No, don't make it about overstaying your welcome. <laughs> Can you scratch that part out, please? That's you and you in your mind. But we do want a studio. We do as a team, as, yeah. Because we just want a space where we can just plug and go. Right? Yeah. yeah. And the ladies' podcast, hey, it was lit last yeah. week. Hey, 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 what's yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what you want to see? Hey, 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 ladies' podcast. Ah, yes. Yeah, shoo, but I love But we're Humoto. having fun. We're having fun, guys. At the end of the day, we're having fun. And we're growing. It's, you know, step by step. I watched the comments. Hey, guys, I saw. There was a spit bra in the comments. Hey, there was a spit bra in the comments. Cancel this show. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going anywhere, and yeah. we are gonna be pushing and just. Good. It gets better yeah. every week. It will get better, guys. You know. Uh, so who's on this week? Exactly. This week we have Sims, and we were talking about one night stand. Mm. Yes. Oh. Chili, 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 chili behavior. One night stand. Oh. One, one night, night stand. stand. Hey. Mm. I like that one. Mm. I definitely <laughs> tune into that one. How many one night stands have you guys had? <laughs> you <You've> lost count. <laughs> lost count. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> if I could count like, those BPMs. one night stands, <laughs> they're not something you keep count of. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, mm. one, it's a one night stand. Most mm. sex a guy gets. It's from one night stand if he's in a, in a relationship. Like, that's, it's, it's, it's not something you keep count of. So, oh, for hey, hey, backtrack, what in it? Most sex that a guy will get if he's not in a relationship is from one night stands. No, but hey. why, wh- wh- no. Those are so views, by the way, not of that of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> is that a controversial? It's not a controversial. No, 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 no. 
But what like, if you're going if, back, if you're not in a relationship a one, and you don't want the ties no of a relationship? We keep on sleeping with each other. Is it still a one night stand? Uh, then no it's not a one night stand. It's th- then it's not a one night okay, stand. Okay. But it doesn't cancel the first night, <laughs> right? <laughs> so. It, that counts as one one night stand. So it's almost like so you carry that, that too. That counts as one you one carry night stand. And divide eyes. No, like if Nyakbon at a club, mm-hmm. right, or somewhere, mm-hmm. and then we screw that mm-hmm. day, that night, mm-hmm. then we want to screw again three weeks time or whatever. We You're did screwed. have a one night stand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was one. So like, you uh, guys have a lot of those. Guys have a lot of those. You can't be getting into a relationship with everyone you sleep with. No, I know. <laughs> like, yo. But I guess, and for me, I feel like it's no longer one night stand. You, yes, but it, it... You are just a friend with benefits. Yes, but You've it started off in one, one, one night stand. Mm. So, it's one. <laughs> We don't count all the encounters, I but think that it's just one yeah, you guys trying to say I have had a lot of one night. Things. I have, dude. How many? Do you know the number of one night things you've had, Mesh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Guys, like, yeah, it's too I mean, much. Yeah, come on, bro. I mean, your girl's not gonna be angry at you for shit that happened before you hooked up with her. Let's talk about your girl. No man, no, I've had many one night stands. Like oh, many, many. I've had many one night stands. You had wife, you know. You've had many one night stands. You were that yeah. crazy. Yeah. You'd know. And on that note, we are out here, man. This has been podcasting chill. <laughs> Peace. Peace. One mic stands. <laughs> I got one mic stand. Flip. Dude. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm still recording. I'm still recording. Oh, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, Chilla hey. sent us this, guys. What, is, what is this? What is uh, this? From Zimbabwe. Chilla sent us this. Oh, wow. Ah, Chilla yes. from Zimbabwe. Yes. Shout yes. out. Let man. me open so for nice. you guys. Open, Let me open, open for you guys. Look at that. Voila. Hey. There's for you. Hey. That's for you, Coast Lady. You can pass that up to Coast Lady. Hey, Coast Lady. So cute. There it is, hey. Grab this it is for me. And then we got these as well. One for you, Coast Lady. You'll take it after. Ah, uh, dope. And then you've got this as well, and then some what? some slips, what? and then this. I'll take this home for the grand jury. Oh, nice. Yes. What? Yes. This is dope. This is dope, man. Shout out, man. Oh, What's the we most? Love our oh, and it's got the logo underneath. And there's a card. Yeah. Oh, it's got the logo underneath. Oh, so dope. Can you read the card? What does the card say? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on all your success. I hope this brings joy to you. A new day. Lots of love from a proud chiller. Oh. Joy. Wow. When are we going Joy to from Zimbabwe, Zim. guys? We need to go to Zimbabwe yeah, now. Incredible. Wow. Can we start with Namibia? Rock yeah, Namibia. we're going to Namibia. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. In and a few then, weeks. In a few weeks. And yeah, then, yeah. We're ready, we're ready. I'm just glad there wasn't any food in here. You know, maybe it's a love potion. This was Zimbabwe. Yeah, then we make our studio in Zim. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> we are like growing. Sigisti. <laughs> Sigisti. <laughs> we love Zimbabwe. Guys. We love you. Nana, guys, we love. Man. We love everybody. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> we are here, podcast and chill. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye